Here is a big here is a big synthesis problem. You need to understand addition reactions of both alkenes and alkynes to be able to do this question. In each step, we're going to supply the missing reagents to achieve our final desired product. So this is a six-step transformation where we go from 2-bromo-3-methylbutane to this very long internal alkyne. For each step, look at the substrate and the product. Compare them, see what has changed. Analyze the regio and stereochemical outcome and you will be able to see what reagent you need, that is provided you understand the one-step syntheses for both alkenes and alkynes. In our first step, our substrate is an alkyl halide and our product is an alkene. This suggests we've done an elimination reaction. Now an elimination reaction would give us the ability to form a double bond in the more substituted position, that's the Zaitsev product, or in the less substituted position, that's the Hoffman product. This alkene was formed by Hoffman E2. Hoffman means we needed a sterically hindered base like tert butoxide. So that is our first reagent. Now let's look at our second step. Our substrate is an alkene. Our product is a primary alkyl bromide. This is anti-Markovnikov hydrobromination. Anti-Markovnikov because the bromine ended up in the less substituted position and the H in the more substituted position. The reagents you need for anti-Markovnikov hydrobromination are HBr and peroxide, R-O-O-R. In step three, our substrate is an alkene and our product is a vicinal dibromide. This means our process is halogenation and our reagent is bromine in carbon tetrachloride. Reagents four and five transform a vicinal dibromide into an alkyne, which means we need to do a double elimination reaction so reagent four will be excess sodium amide. The solvent you do this in is ammonia. And step five is water to work it up. This gives you a high yield of the alkyne. In step six, our substrate is an alkyne and our product is an alkynide. We need proton transfer and the base that is strong enough to deprotonate an alkyne is sodium amide. Again, the solvent in this case must be ammonia, NH3. In our final step, we react an alkynide with the primary alkyl halide to get an internal alkyne. This is an SN2 reaction. The alkynide does nucleophilic attack at the alpha carbon of the primary alkyl halide and the halogen leaves. So this fragment of the molecule ends up here. And this fragment is here. This bond came from this lone pair. 
again, when you have an SN2 reaction between an alkynide and a primary alkyl halide to make an internal alkyne, this is called alkylation.